Hello, I'm Atsuko. So um, last time I did a speedy kimono dressing. It was very, um, looks like it was very fun. And uh, today I'd like to talk about more about kimono, especially the how to coordinate the kimono. Kimonos are silk, so it's expensive, and uh, we can't have many, many of this. So. What we do is that actually we buy one kimono and get a um, variety of uh, all these stuff, the belts. And uh, even these are a lot more. So let's say we usually do one kimono with three different obis, three different um, coordination. So today I'd like to show you how to do that. So, uh, today's one, I prepared this very simple but beautiful green color. I love green. And uh, I prepared three types. One is this casual stuff. So, uh, black and some yellow colors. So, this is like a casual style that you can go to like um, parties. And uh, with, because it's still with the gold and silver thread, so you can at attend um, the parties, no problem. And this is much more formal that you can actually go to a tea party, a wedding, um, those kind of high class uh, ceremonies. This is the um, classic um, pattern and the colors not too bright they're that's um, elegant. The last one actually not very much of my style that I'm not I don't really do cute but this is what the staff made me to do so let's do it. Um, so beautiful pink and obi and it's actually the pattern of the crane so this is also um, high, cl high class uh, with this you can go to um, the, the parties, the ceremonies and uh, it's no problem so this is the recommendation for um, that make you feel like a bit cute so today I'm going to dressing everything and show you how uh, how you look different so let's start okay now I'm dressed so I'll try the first this formal one and uh, again we're going to use the pillows the board to hold a clip and one string and today's uh, obi is this is called fukuro obi that is um the very um, formal uh, obi. And uh, also, there is something called Nagoya obi. That is, uh, it can be formal, but it's a little less formal than the Fukuro obi. And uh, the difference is Fukuro obi is the same length and really really long about this one. so I'm going to turn round 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 okay now we all be the difference is here is the same but in the middle you see it's already sewn to half so it's easier means a bit of cheat so 
That's why the Unaboyogi is um, considered as less formal than the Fuku. Okay, so last time with the speedy kimono, I did with this um, Nagoya. So today, I'd like to show you how to do this Fukuromi. Let's do it. As you see, I've, I've already worn, and this is actually from my aunt. So it's about, let's see, 60 years old or older. Now, you see it's already folded into half. After here, it looks like the same, but this is much longer left. So what we do is the pillow, we put it here, we cover the pillow, So the pillow doesn't move. Alright, now, you see this is, um, it's double already here. So we call it, it's um, double taiko. This is the same. You 
fold it nicely. One, two, three. Fold. This is really hot. You know, it's summer, July the 8th. The temperature must be over 30 degrees outside. It's air conditioned in this room. But you are actually supposed to wear the summer kimono just like the last time. But unfortunately, I don't have the big collection of summer kimono. Actually, I'm wearing the winter one Ooh, really hot This is the, the formal style that you can go to tea ceremony and the formal parties and uh, so this is how you look like. So let's see the next one. So, ta -da! so this is the second casual version. How does it look? It's quite different from the formal one to this. The, the color is in a black, kind of cool um, and uh, really nice um, color combination. So this is the back and the colors. And uh, the last one, let's go to the cute one. So, ta -da! So this is the third version, the cute one. How do I look? <laughs> so, um, okay, again, I didn't choose this, this cameraman, this girl, she chose for me. And uh, so that's, um, how can I say, it's a, uh, you can really change the image, you know, from the, the formal one to the black cool one into cute. So only just a few um, changes of the, uh, the obvious, then everything changes. So this is the fun about the kimono. That's how we enjoy the, the kimono coordination. And uh, so the point is like this really pink. And uh, another uh, point is that you choose the color you have in either in kimono or in your obi. So actually it has the blue. So this is blue and uh, the blue. So subtle, but you do this um, small um, play with the colors too. So um, when you next time when you choose kimonos, please um, think about what you want, where you're going, um, what color you like, and everything. That there is a certain rules of the like formality, uh, but basically. Please choose what you like. And uh, well, I did on three patterns today. I hope you like it. Hope you like it. And uh, until we meet, please enjoy. So.